me in. Thank you. Now, the weather is always hot and dry in the American West, but it's been so hot and so dry for so long that the region is now in the grips of a massive drought. Normally, you'd think that would cause a lot of lethal wildfires, but the work of one group of particularly daring firefighters seems to be preventing that. They are known as the smoke jumpers, brave people who parachute into fire zones. We caught up with some of them in Redding, California. Man, the best part is probably just jumping out of the airplane. You know, you're actually only 1,500 feet up, which isn't that high. You know, and they say, get ready, get in the, you know, get in the door, get ready, and you exit and you jump out. That's kind of, that's pretty crazy to me. And then when the parachute opens up and everything's really quiet, and you've kind of got this minute and 30 seconds, maybe two minutes of just nobody's talking to you, you're not talking to anybody, it's just totally quiet and you're kind of flying through the air. You're in control, you know, you're, you know, your jump spot is, you know, different sizes, different shapes. It's kind of like you're solving this little problem in the air and it's just up to you to get there. Nobody can help you out with it. And then when you make a good landing and get the jump spot, it's a great feeling. My name is Ben Elkind. I'm 29 and I'm a rookie smoke jumper in Redding, California. When the horn goes off, for us, I mean, it's a great feeling. Good talk. You know, you get in the locker room, and if you're not suiting up to get on the plane, you're helping other people suit up. You know, you've got your jumpsuit, but there's a harness with a parachute that you attach to that harness. And if it's not attached properly, obviously, you're going to have a bad day. Yep, got it. I'm Gretchen Stumhofer. I'm 25. I've been a smoke jumper for, this is my third season now. I'm the only female smoke jumper here in California. I don't feel like I have to, you know, act like a guy or have, you know, male mannerisms or anything. I think I'm respected and appreciated as a woman here. And, um, you know, we have all the same physical standards for men and women. So I think that helps out a lot in terms of getting respect. My name is Luis Gomez. My title here is Smoke Jumper Operations Manager. And I've been jumping out of Reading off and on for 16 years, 17 years. Once we drop the guys, they set up the area for a cargo mission and where we throw the fireboxes and saws and whatever else they might need. In the fireboxes, there's two sleeping bags, two tools, and then food for three days for two people. Once they do the safety briefing right there on the fire perimeter, they go into fire operations, which is cutting all your material that can burn away from the fire and creating a, uh, an area that won't burn. So you're going down to mineral soil. Our largest hazard is actually out in the, in the wilderness, wildland area uh, where anything's possible. The smoke jumpers. I have to say that all firefighters are unbelievably brave, but the smoke jumpers, those guys and that woman, really take the biscuit. Well, that brings today's program to